Hello YouTube. Uh, today we're going to be looking at um, effects, I believe, or I think we'll start with adjustments since that's on this side. Uh, it's going to be a pretty short video, hopefully. Um, now as far as all these considered, a lot of them, I mean that one is part of a mod, the plugin that we got, and that's part of plugin. Anything with the little symbol right here is part of the plugins uh, that we got. Um, everything else is built in to um, the actual program. So first off, uh, the auto level thing, as you can see it kind of brightens everything up and stuff like that. I personally don't like using it because you have no control over it. Um, once you learn how to use all the um, contrast and stuff like that. The next one is black and white, so it changes your um, background or your image to like a black and white uh, theme type thing. And that's very similar to the uh, Speptia or whatever, which kind of turns it to an old film look. Um, now this one, I'm not entirely sure what it does. I think it's, ah, uh, okay. So it kind of, I, I guess, um, changes the, how much color is being used. Um, now levels are a little bit different. It's um, kind of how to brighten up your, photo usually you can do this with contrast and brightness um, this is for more website design and getting things more precise uh, you can do it all with um, contrast brightness and hue uh, invert colors this will basically invert the um, all the colors to the opposite side of the spectrum and then you have these two. I'm not going to cover this because it's pretty much the same thing as um, the hue. It's just a little more settings and stuff. You can play around with that. But I am going to cover hue and saturation, which is the program's base one. Now there's three options. Um, hue is what color colors it uses. So as you can see, anything that is um, has color in it will change. If it's white like the moon over here, then it's not going to change. As you can see, the white just remains the same. So do the clouds a little bit. Um, now saturation is the how much color there is. As you can see, I can make it really stand out, or I can make it really fade. Uh, there's also lightness and darkness. Now this is a little bit different than your brightness and uh, concentration or no, it's uh, contrast, contrast. Brightness and contrast are a little bit different than the lightness thing. Um, I personally don't use this often unless I know that I need to brighten the whole image up. Uh, but if you're going for brightening things up and giving it still detail, then what you want is brightness and contrast. And for that, it does pretty much the same thing, a little bit different as you can see. It doesn't blur the image so much, but you can also add contrast, which sharpens the image while you're brightening it. So as you can see, it really stands out like that compared to just um, using the lightness thing setting and it blurring everything out. Now you can use that with conjunction of this, that nothing's saying you can. It's just, um, you'll need it for certain things. Um, curvature, as you can see, it does, it works on the brightness and contrast as well. Uh, you can play around with this um, kind of figure out how it all works and stuff. I don't know. I've never really used this too much because 
I'm not that good at it, but I'm sure you can play around with it and get some pretty cool Im images going. Um, color balance is part of the plugin. We'll probably be covering that. Now, um, I think this is... Yeah, so as you can see, it's kind of... I don't use this often either, but um, you can adjust the the hue, I guess, and how much color is being used in it. So it's good for kind of getting, I don't know, uh, kind of a solid color going or something. Or maybe you just want to um, give it some more tone or something like that. In that case, like we just kind of made it have more yellow in it. That would be good for like um, thumbnails or something like that for YouTube. Like if you were to want to add uh, a specific more shade to it, um, this would be another way to go if you weren't so familiar with hues and stuff like that. Um, also, I've noticed that it kind of does the whole image, not just uh, specific. Um, elements like the hue does. So this um, also would probably be good for doing other things. Uh, last thing under adjustments that we're going to be covering is the transparency. Now um, generally you'd be going down but you can go up I guess if you have a transparent image. Um, now, as you see, the background has changed. This is telling you that this layer is transparent. So why is this handy? Yeah, you may ask. Um, if we were to copy over this image and we were to go to stylize and emboss and change this to one, uh, 148 maybe I think that might be the right angle yeah close enough all right so as you can see this um, gave it more dimension and stuff like that for the different angle now if we were to like it pops out more right so if we go to transparency and bring that down to say 50 as you can see it gives it more dimension but now we have this background image we can also bring up the contrast and brightness to say 50 I would say maybe a little less in the brightness I'll do like 30 and then what we're going to do is go to our hue and saturation. We're going to, not the brightness. We're going to bump up the, the saturation to whatever is reasonable. I would say about 140. Now, as you can see, um, it's given more dimension to the background image. Um, but it's actually just a transparent image. So if we go like that, this is what the original photo looks like. But because this is a, a gray background, as you can see that it kind of, it, it grays it out a little bit more. Of course you can play around with the um, hue and saturation, and brightness and contrast a little bit more. But um, it just, it gives it more depth, I find, if you do that little technique. And um, that you can also use that for transparent images, like overlaying things and stuff like that. Um, I generally use the full transparency for things that I'll be working with, like adding more dimension and stuff like that, making kind of like 3D images and stuff. Um, other things I've used it for was um, making Minecraft texture packs to making um, things that are transparent but popping them out more so you can as you can see this is like that but if we were wanting to actually brighten up the thing we could just pump it all the way to 100 
and repeat that process until you have a solid image. Um, so not only can you make things transparent, you can also make them untransparent. So, um, yeah, so that's basically the transparent tool. That's adjustments. Um, don't think I've missed anything. Outside of this, it's um, pretty much the same thing. It just gives you a little more options, I think. Your saturation from to um, like I said, I don't actually use this too much. So anyhow, um, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There's some more videos right on the screen right now that you can click, um, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.